Okay, guys, uh, uh, this is gonna be kind of like a pre-segment thing because, um, kind of a moron and didn't pick up a few missile expansions. Now that it's dark, this is actually gonna be a lot harder and damn it. Uh, I could just start the segment over, but no, I will not. I will be stupid and take up more time. But anyway, yeah, you kind of have to roll down this really narrow morph ball shaft here to get a missile expansion on the other end. And the fact that the camera angle always changes doesn't help. Getting up this ramp is kind of annoying, but once you're up there, it's not that bad. You just have to be really careful. I seem to remember this one being bigger in the original, like the ramp being bigger in the original. Like, I, I don't know, I ne kind of need to focus here so I don't screw up again. Uh, uh, <laughs> don't screw up. Get it! Okay, there we go. Alright, <clears throat> well, by the way, this is Research Lab Aether. Which is weird because they named the second the place in the second game Aether, I think. Or I could be wrong. I don't remember anymore. I know nothing anymore. So yeah, cutting away to Research Lab Hydra where I also missed something. Okay guys, uh I'm this is the start of the official segment because i yeah, I made it back to the observatory and uh I made it back to the save room in the observatory. So now we're just gonna go to back to Research Lab Hydra and pick up one thing and then we're off to fight Thardist. And I'm Thardist. It's Thardus. T H A R D U S. But uh, anyway, those pirates are kind of annoying as always. And thermal visor, please. Stun, please. Eh. Oh yeah, you kind of have to fight these things. Crap. And wave beam is a weakness. Holy crap! That took off a ton of energy, and I'm completely doing the wrong controls here. And one of them explodes, so it like intensifies the visor greatly. Jeez, these things are taking off a ton of energy. Oh, I collected an ultra energy though, so that kind of helped. So doors have been unlocked, and now I can get in here, which is Research Lab Hydra. Now, I missed a missile expansion in the last one. And these Metroids can freely get out now, by the way. I think. Am I wrong? No, but I don't want to find out. Uh, now, there's a wall, if you look around in here, I think there's a wall made of Cordite somewhere. Well, I know there is, but I don't know where it is, and... Damn it. I hate getting hit by everything. It's really annoying. Alright, well, where's the wall made of cordite? I need to know where it is. Ah! I'm gonna try and... I can't lock onto this thing without the thermal visor. I must say I'm doing quite horrible for the start of the segment. Um... Where is the wall made of cordite? I know it's in here. Is it this pillar thing? I don't know. Because all the FAQ said- I know I'm like relying religiously on the FAQ, but I can't hear the sound of it either, so... Um... So, as for the um, Emerald 386 playthrough, that's gonna just be sporadic updates, because I cannot- To be honest, I don't like that LP very much. Okay, gotta kill another one of these guys. Did I somehow hit it? Like, ah, okay, that was weird. And I, yay for unnecessary missile. Uh, and I ripped off Big Dip on a bus. Oh my god, I'm a bad person. If that I pwn meatballs kid says anything else, I swear to god. No, just kidding, dude. Your criticism is valued, I guess, but it's, I know that I kind of rip them off. I know I ripped off, like, a ton of LPers, but that's what new LPers do. Trust me, I've seen it. I've watched a few new LPs, and they tend to, like, gravitate- Okay, where the hell is that missile expansion? They tend to, like, th stylistically, they tend to be pretty similar to whoever they watch. Is it just this pillar, or am I- I, I need to know. Oh god, I missed. Alright, pausing the recording until I figure out what the hell I'm doing. Holy crap, I'm stupid! It's encased in the pillar. And I missed the first time, so I'm automatically assumed I'm wrong. Alright, whatever. Uh, now we can continue in this room, and now it's all a matter of getting back to the Roman Courtyard, which shouldn't be that hard. And then I can spend the last half of the recording session fighting Thardis, if I can even figure out where to go. So, uh, like it was saying, it's okay for <coughs> LPers to, especially new ones, and I'm, my voice is all raspy for some reason. And we think we're muting off, bleh, muting off, muting, ah, I can't speak. Muting out the cough I'm certain to have in a second. Man, that was a long one. Alright, well. Uh. 
Yeah, like I said, it's kind of okay for new, especially for new LPs to kind of rip off who they're talking about, but not like an exact replica. Yeah, I know I say yay for a lot, which is big tip on a bus esque. But I'm just trying to speed through this room without any sort of thought put into it. I'm gonna visit the save station before I, um, fight the boss, so I'll have full health and stuff. The artist I remember not being that difficult. So here we are back in the ruined courtyard. And now we can finally get in and fight Thardis now that we have the super missile and uh, thermal visor. If I can make this jump. Okay, this, so this is the save station. You totally need to see me save, right? So, uh, I'm probably missing a few things. Like, even items. Because I'm not really paying attention to the FAQ as well as I should. But I'm trying to actually get a few like things done without it. So, I don't know. Uh, <coughs> okay, so this is what you need to do. Uh, if you look around, you have a, uh, door without power. Okay, please give me the... Okay, I didn't know if I would make that jump. Anyway, we got a door without power here, which means there's a conduit somewhere. So you turn on the thermal visor and you realize it's in here, so if you blast at it and it doesn't work. So get out your scan visor and scan this. It's cordite, which means it can only be broken with a super missile. <coughs> So this is just ensuring that you've gone through the pirate area. So yeah, break that. And then hit the power conduit with the right weapon. <laughs> or just hit it outright and then the door will be powered and you can go through. So I'm on my way to fight Thardis here. And another pulse bomb on my favorite. Boom. Anyway, um... So we got Quarantine Cave coming up, and Thardis, and this boss always makes me nervous for some reason. I don't know, it's not that hard of a boss to do, I just, I could end up failing at it. Anyway, like I was saying for E3D6, uh, sporadic uploading on that, I don't really care for that LP very much. I'll do some there, some here, some there. And also, um, I haven't even touched parts 13 and 14 yet, like I haven't even edited them, so I'm recording this the day after. Expect videos to be like that. Again, completely unorthodox schedule, but if you're subscribed to me, you'll be immediately be notified when I come out with a new video. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm saying, like, pandering for him. We got a, we got a large rock golem thing here. And he might be scary looking, but he's not actually that hard. So, first of all, scan him. Um... After he stops roaring and stuff. Does he have a head? I don't think he does. Scan scan the thing. There. Ah! It's very picky about when it wants to let me scan it. Okay, I'm dodging its attacks before I'm even explaining them. Okay, now I got him scanned and it's Thardis and stuff. These rocks, these rocks actually really help later in the battle because they drop energy and missiles. So first thing you're going to want to do is open the thermal visor and you're going to want to see what parts in case and phase on. Fire a super missile at it and it'll break it instantly. Get out of thermal visor because you won't be able to see and then just blast the crap out of the phase on thing and that'll do damage to him. So just try to kind of dodge its attacks and actually hit the phase on thing. Uh, yeah, and then that'll happen. Then you can go back into thermal visor and see what parts next. And you just keep repeating this process. I think it takes seven rocks. And this is his most dangerous attack when he turns into the rock ball thing. Uh, it's kind of easy to dodge if you... It's really luck-based if you dodged or not. But when it reforms back up, lock on and keep blasting. Uh, I just tend to use super missiles. Sometimes I miss. Oh, it didn't miss somehow. And more rocks. Again, if you ever run low on missiles from using super missiles uh, just kind of blast those away and they'll yield more power-ups and stuff. Which, uh, yield mushrooms. That's from a Red Supray. Seriously, go watch their stuff. They're freaking hilarious. And I'm gonna get Red Supray one day. I can feel it in me bones. And I already took care of him. That one, that was pretty easy. So yeah, you just keep repeating this process, and occasionally I turn into a rock ball, and it gets easier to dodge somewhat like, every time you hit a new rock or destroy a new rock because um, less of you can hit, less of him can hit you. Except it's not really that big of a difference. Some of them can be kind of hard to hit because of the weird angle, but most of the time you can get a good hit on them. So 
Somehow I hit that rock even though I was not even locked onto it. And somehow I'm doing really well against this boss. Usually it takes me a little while to do. Oh, and by the way, now that we... Once we get the spider ball, which is what we get for beating this boss, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. I mean, in 2, you have to fight the spider guardian, and you, he goes all over a spider ball track-based maze. It's like a puzzle boss, and well, the camera was weird there. But Zardus doesn't really have any like use for the spider ball, and the spider ball has been around since Metroid 2, so I don't know what they were thinking there. Like, not having a boss based on that, and I heard him again after much toil. Now he'll send out, is this where he sends out the snowstorm? Or just lightning? Pretty soon he sends out a snowstorm and it's quite bad. Stop sending out lightning, it's not doing you much good. It's only of close range. Yeah, this is where he sends out the snowstorm. 